The moral of the story, who did married Satan? The folk story is about when Satan married the only good girl on earth. The problem with rich guys and independent girls. Wealth and responsibilities mismatch single people. Satan looks so good, then some guys marry him. In this phrase, he is a woman, it's not a joke, how many single beautiful girl are around? The real story is that Satan was tired, he was bored of doing alone bad things to people, accumulating experience and knowledge, he wanted to get married with a good girl, and he asked God, yes. Satan asks God for advice where to find a good homestay wife, and a good mother for his future kids. God is good even with Satan, and he told him to put one mirror in a very populated place on earth, and the girl who will not look in the mirror, is the good one for Satan himself. It's true, there was a girl who didn't look in the mirror, and Satan marry her and live a happy life, thanks God for the life tip. The first moral of the story is for all girls. Dear girls, stop pretending you are good girls, and stop faking it, that you are everything, perfect and what every man want, pure and innocent, maybe, be more sincere and be yourself. Build a beautiful character and values. Because, only because. In the entire history, there was only one authentic good girl, and that girl. She married Satan. That was the real story. The second moral of the story is that you must stop being a too good girl, because you will marry a bad guy who will profit from your naivety, silliness, maybe marrying another Satan. The problem with rich guys and independent girls is that many independent girls and women want a powerful, rich, good-looking guy to marry him and change him, to make him give up his plans. Because I am a special woman, no you're not. Listen to my talk, link in description of this video. Girls and self-made success women think that he must and will follow her, this is what she thinks, and also in the cases when she earn much more money than him. She decides the life path and life plan control. The rich guys want a good wife and a good mother for his future kids, great men don't care about rich stupid women, they don't want to complicate their already complicated life. No rich man wants to marry a copy of himself, the businesswoman. Still, the more educated and hard-working women are, they will not be compatible. A common sense between them, it's tough to find and to push the relation until getting married and them continue. Check out my talk about common sense between people and why men are pigs, links to videos in description. The problem of wealth, is when poor people start from zero and become someone, they start making money, and many of them, they lose control of their life. Phrases like, now I can afford, I can do what I want because I can buy it, they try vices and become more lazy, they betray, they start gambling money, they upgrade in life with all the things. They are procrastinating and maybe becoming greedy. After the age of 30, normal middle class people already have some money, or a place on their name, have a bank debt and long term responsibilities. And when you meet someone without this good financial mindset, who spends all the money or don't care about his money and future. You should say no, because people will not change when they receive more money to fuel their problems. Or when both life partners have many places and assets to manage, relationship becomes a family negotiation. It requires prenuptial contract and future planning for future investments and lifetime decisions. I end this talk with another lie, that nobody wants to tell you. The longer you wait to get married, the longer you wait for the perfect person to get married, the chances are getting lower to find the one. And it is not because your age, it is about your comfortable lifestyle, responsibilities, you are also burnt out, stressed and daily overthinking about this issue of being single. Maybe entire years of loneliness affects your brain and life expectations, trust me, I'm almost 40 and still single, I know what I am talking about. And the lower is the probability to find someone. Because the majority of people your age, are already taken or divorced, and the baggage of life problems, life issues and fears is gaining weight. The phrase, he used to do. Or she used to be. And we become wiser, desperate and think, overthink, and create all the possible life scenarios regarding our future, the stoic principle, we suffer more in our mind, than in reality. Check out my episode regarding overthinking and married because of hate, link to my famous talk in the description of this video. Yes we have hope, still we say no, no for many times. 
You never learn the important life lessons, even if you keep repeating them doing the same mistakes, and taking the same wrong decisions, and paying with money. Paying with suffering and paying with time and health, all your fears. The fear of trying and the fear of failing or being refused. The older you are, the difficult is to have a normal conversation, and show that actually you are desperate, lonely, and having the fears of remaining single, and you will make compromises. Bigger than those who marry early in life. Those who marry young, they start from zero, they have nothing to lose, and build everything together. And God, yes God, God is so good, and we are single because he protects us from bad relationships, until we grow enough to be ready for that fabulous relation we dream of. Hope and expect to have in this lifetime, out lifetime. Or we get some refuses, some life lessons, to appreciate love. Enough so we could share it and live it properly. The image from this video is from the movie Rock and Roll Wolfie in 1974, link in description. How ready are you for a true relationship?